So um, we tried plugging the hot pot into the Jackery and it's, uh, we think it's overpowering it. So we're gonna try and plug it in the van and see if that works. We'll start with some meat. Yeah. Okay. Is that the yeah, this is regular the one? Yep. Okay. see it's got the red light on at least all right so we came to a place that we've been before and all of a sudden it has become a lot more sandier so we just threw it in a four by four just for some extra traction but we definitely can't get to the spot we were we actually put some good grooves in actually yeah we did oh yeah we did oh yeah let's see yeah we put some you can tell grooves. the difference where we were and other yeah. people were but yeah, it's a little sandy and deep. <laughs> yeah, it is. Wow. Find a different spot. Maybe yeah. on the other side. Maybe the other side we'll see. Yeah. We'll check it out. Ooh, look how much that is all rutted now. Wow, it's all washed out, yeah. Yeah, it is. Ooh. That's, That's crazy. All rutted out. Yeah. You can see like where the road used to be. Yeah. Like down here. Yeah. Good go right here by the water. We're good. Yeah. Let's take this spot. How do I want to do it though? I don't know. We'll figure it out. You saw our entry into Box Bar. Mm -hmm. And it is very sandy over on the side that we stayed at. But we lucked yeah. out and we got a place right next to the river that will mm -hmm. show you. It's really cool, 14-day um, limit, mm -hmm. but you have to have a pass. Yeah. And those costs for the day passes at least seven to eight dollars. Depending on where you get them. Yeah. yeah, so definitely make sure that you get those, but we are all excited because we're trying to start a new series where we do cheap camping or free camping most of this year. Mm -hmm. And this is our first one, which it only cost us eight bucks yep. for the pass and we get to stay at this beautiful place really quiet last time mm -hmm. so this is going to be episode one of that series so let's get ready for date night because yeah. we got a special dinner that we've never cooked on here before i'm so excited so we're excited about that mm -hmm. So this is what we get to listen to all night, which is really nice. So we're not very far from it. As you can tell, we kind of walked down there and then the van is going to be up there, but the water can get pretty high, but I don't think it's ever gotten as high as up there. So, but they do have a gate, so that way people can't camp right down on the river with vehicles. I think you can do it with tents, but not your vehicle.
can. So we brought out the big guns. We brought the hot pot and we bought the jackery to power the hot pot because for night dinner is going to be hot pot, which we haven't had in a long time. So we're really excited. It's chilly and it's getting cold and the sun's going down. So we're gonna go ahead and start dinner really early. So I'm breaking down baby bok choy so we can rinse it before we cook it and eat it. So um, we tried plugging the hot pot into the Jackery and it's, uh, we think it's overpowering it. So we're gonna try and plug it into the van and see if that works. <laughs> so we'll see if this um, takes too much power. So actually, because as soon as I plug this in, the hot pot's on. Mm -hmm. So it would top out all of a sudden at 1300 watts. So I'm gonna pull up our lithium batteries because they're full. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to see if we get coated out on this too. I'll watch it from up here. And a little bit of solar still. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't think you can see it as well. But we're definitely pulling. And it's starting to boil. So, apparently the Jackery 1000 obviously tops out at 1000 watts. So but it looks like we're doing pretty well, at least on the batteries right now. At least it won't take long for us to eat this either. For the bases for hot, we've got a spicy hot pot base for me and we've got a mushroom for Amanda because she doesn't like spicy. I'm assuming this is all the spicy, which is kind of scary. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna open these up, put these in the water now that it's starting to get warm. We were making sure that it was gonna work first. All right, so this is Amanda's side. So it's time to get the mushroom stuff. Gonna pour the soup base in there. And this is just eating up our battery, so it's going to be interesting to see how much battery we have left over. I <laughs> yeah. really don't know what's in this spicy one. I know, we haven't done this one before. No, we ran out of the ones that I ordered from Amazon. Oh, this has... I'm going to have to clean my knife. Oh, This has like chilies. Oh, in right. it. Um, this will be interesting. You might be eating the mushroom with me tonight. Yeah. What any of these are? Oh, this is, there we go. Powder, okay. There's the powder. The other one that I get is just a, like a liquid base mm -hmm. in general. So usually I don't have any powder ones in mine, but I'm kind of excited to try this one and see if this one's good by Little Sheep because the mushroom and the tomato one are good. Yeah, I really like those, the mild ones. Yeah. I'm gonna be a baby and pour like a little bit. Oh, I didn't even open it. Oh no, I did. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of hot in there. Here we go. Good. Now we're gonna put the lid back on. We're gonna stir these up, put the lid back on, and let it get up to 10. For the dipping sauces, we go with a sesame 
dipping sauce we absolutely love and then a citrus soy sauce too so this is my favorite it's a sesame for sure but these are the ones that we use for mostly all of our hot pots for the meats we usually always do some type of like wagyu um, thin cut from H Mart it's a labeled shabu shabu and then we also decided to do a pork belly one because we're trying to get away from all the red meat and we want to see if this one's good just because of having to limit red meat in my diet lastly we don't we're not doing rice we're going to try these new noodles that we found so we have our um, little container for that to put those in and then we also have one last thing you can't have hot pot without some kind of mini wonton pork and veggie so we're going to eat these guys too very careful. I know. She's a little on level. Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with these guys being in there. I know. I might put mine on this side to balance it out. Go for it. Yeah. I just have to get around all the... All the peppers. All the peppers. Well, that's why we have the little baskets. So I, I know. In there. All right. Let's see how this goes. I know. I'm just going to dump all those bad boys in there. Usually this is like a take your time, relax, eat as you go thing, but since we're on limited battery power, we're just going to throw it all in and cook it all at once. Yep. And see how it goes. And see what happens. Yep. Because right now, I think we're already at 80% in battery. Yeah, we were at 84 last time I looked. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Got some dumplings. I'm going to throw those bad boys in. This is usually what hot pot is anyway. Yeah. Bok choy. Yeah. And then whatever you want, yeah. you cook it in that broth. I'm just going to put your dumplings in over there on the bottom. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Just three or four, three is probably good, yeah. Okay. I like mushrooms in mine. We got these cute little, I don't know what they are. Oyster mushrooms? No, no. they're like button or okay. wood or something. I don't know. I like all mushrooms, so I'm just going to... Yeah. And we're putting all the veggies and dumplings in because the meat cooks super fast. Yeah, like in seconds. Yeah. So, we're probably not wrong. It's probably just not like the best way to cook it. It's just the way we like to do it. Yeah. <laughs> So we wanted to start this series just because we want to show you like, I mean, you can find places. This is 45 minutes to an hour outside of Phoenix, mm -hmm. close to home. And it's really nice just because it's cold here now and we can actually just drive that short amount and, and enjoy this. Yeah. And that was kind of the point. And also being able to show you that can be, can be really cheap. Yeah. It doesn't um, have to be expensive. No. And on top of that, if you do need bathrooms, there's actually porta potties here. And there's a lot of little bugs. I see them now. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, there are. So not all facilities like this have porta potties, but you can always bring your own, obviously for dispersed camping, or you can go dig a hole. Yep. Bring make shovel. sure that you <laughs> pack it all out. Yep. Toilet paper wise. Yeah. Um yeah, but you there's can pack the other stuff too if you want, but yeah. And if you do one night like we normally do and try to get out, I mean a campsite is like thirty bucks. But we're trying to be as cheap as possible this year. Yeah. So that's why we wanted to do this. And this is like our date night. It is. Essentially. <laughs> so we don't know what else we like to do. I mean we like to go to the gun range and rock climbing and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. we really probably enjoy this most. So this is definitely our date night. Absolutely. Hands down. How are you looking over there? I'm good. I'm just putting my last of my mushrooms in. Okay. And then that's probably good for me. Sounds good. We'll start with some. some meat? Yeah. Okay. Is that the yeah, this is regular the, one? Yep. Okay. This is just the regular beef. Okay. The Wagyu. Cool. And if you guys have never tried Hot Pot, you really should. It's really good. Yeah. As you guys know, we obviously love a lot of our Korean stuff. This yeah. is one of them. I'm just going to go ahead and put some porky butt in here too. Mm -hmm. I'm interested for the pork butt. I want to see what it tastes like. So you saw me just put the meat in. Like, oh, that one isn't, but here. It's already cooked. Yeah. Like seconds. It definitely doesn't take 
long at all for this. Mm -hmm. And then usually with your meat and veggies, then you'll take them out and you'll dunk them in those sauces. Yep. 78. Okay. We're almost getting there. Yeah, we're doing good. That's definitely pork. Mm -hmm. It's definitely got the rim of fat on it. I know. It had like that stripey fat on yeah. it. We'll see how it goes. For this. And this is warm and I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm gonna actually try the pork first. I'm gonna try the pork first too. Yeah, with some bok choy and some yeah. sesame dipping sauce. Mm -hmm. Pork's not bad. I'm gonna probably say it's a no for me just because of the fat ring. Mm, okay. Yeah. Maybe we can get leaner next time. Mm hmm. Yeah. No, it's not bad. Mm -mm. It's okay. Yeah. I like our wagyu better. Yeah. I definitely like the beef better. Yeah. Ish. Little mini dumplings, so good. Mm hmm, so good. It's all so good. Definitely, like I said, try this out. I'm not a big fan of the pork butt just because it has a ring of fat on it, it's just chewy, texture wise for me. Mm -hmm. But the Wagyu top sirloin that we get cut there at the store, it's for Shabo Shabo Hot Pot, mm -hmm. it's really good. So we're going to finish this up, make a fire. We got some sweet treats for later, and we will check in with you guys soon. I don't know any type of camping that ever goes to plan, but once again, we forgot fire starters and we didn't bring a jet boil for the flaming torch. <laughs> so we just kind of made our own and we're gonna just see how this goes. Yeah. Yeah. But we did say some really good kindling. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that should be good to get this started. I definitely made you a pyro. Mm. Like you like fire now. It doesn't scare me as much as this. Yeah. Ugh. Get this started because we are nice and cold right now. Yeah, just a little bit. I just threw the big log on there. If we haven't mentioned it in other videos, um, we love our snow peak. I know, it's so nice. Yeah. So let's see what this tastes like. We can't find our mango bread. I know, I think they got rid of it. I don't think they got rid of it. Either. I think it's just probably harder to import. Um, Cause I do think a lot of this stuff from H Mart comes from out of country. Yeah. So we're gonna try this and see what this is like. Oh, this is weird. Is it weird texture? Oh, this is like, this is it's heavy. It's a rice cake. Yeah. Oh, it looks like a giant mochi. Oh, that's a lot. It has like filling inside. Yep. Oh, it's, it does feel weird. Like the outside's really squishy, but yep. the inside is firm. Really firm. Yeah. It's a weird texture. Yeah, it is. We're not winning with mochis anymore. Honestly. I really like it. I'll take another bite. I like the flavor a lot. Yeah. You guys can see. You can see it's kind of like a mushy cheeseburger. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of because I'm not a sweets person, but... 
that's what it looks like on the inside. It's like double layered mochi. Really, yeah, that's interesting. I really like the flavor. I feel like there's cream in it. There probably is. Mm -hmm. We're definitely hoping with this kind of series episodes we want to do with this close to free, or I should say probably cheap camping. Mm -hmm. We can find some new spots that are close to home, especially in the winter months, we want to take advantage of it. Yeah. Because we don't have to drive two, two and a half hours away. We can drive 45 minutes to an hour away. Yeah, or maybe less, we'll see what we find. Yeah, so it'll be really nice to see how this turns out. So we'll definitely put this together and hopefully we'll find some cool spots, maybe you guys you know, we'll get some ideals from this too and see what's local to you. Mm -hmm. With us, obviously, we have a lot of national forests around us, so it's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to be respectful of the areas. Yeah. So, leave a comment down below if this is what you guys look to do when it's camping, or do you prefer campgrounds? I think we've talked about before, we like both Absolutely. for different reasons. Um, we are going to try to be on the cheaper side this year for 2024. <laughs> yes. Because... It's one of those things we want to save a lot of money. We have some big plans that we want to do. And we're trying to move forward with those with the van too. Mm -hmm. But right now we are just going to stay nice and warm next to the fire and enjoy the river sound behind us mm -hmm. and enjoy the night. Nice and cozy fire. Time to go to bed now. Mm -hmm. We've got everything grabbed up. If you're wondering the batteries, they went from 100% to 75. We won't use much tonight at all. Yeah. So batteries will be good. But yeah, that was a lot of power. I know. Was not expecting that. No, definitely was not. It's so good. It was. Mm -hmm. Hot pot was so good. So I hope you guys enjoy and we will catch you on the next one.